told to the time of a fallen leaf. I dream of Dolphy's breath, or pistrophy, pushing these spiraling leaves into sound. Can you hear the leaves in autumn? Silence is a form of falling, I read somewhere. I raise my eyes, this oak, leaf the size of my hand, leaf the shape of a man, Emerio, the Spanish finds me in autumn, hasta que el hombre entero se detuvo, leaf of yellow, red, rojo. What is the color of death? Is it the same as silence? That deaf boy I saw in the park, gathering leaves, holding them up to his ears. What did he hear? He offered a leaf to the girl beside him. She twirled it between her fingers. I watched them walk toward the trees. My child swung from the monkey bars. They paused, speaking in that language children can understand. Have you ever seen someone deaf sign to a child? It's like when you notice a leaf as it gathers light, or a bird when it flies toward a branch. The child can hear what the hands say. I think this listening as laundry is hung from a line on a second floor porch in late autumn. Laundry, my friend writes, is the scent of childhood. I dream of my childhood, passing the laundromat where the Russian woman play cards in the back. I hear a voice scolding a girl in dialect, Katya, come here, come. A thin girl who sings as she folds, the laundry at night becomes the place her landlord weighs bags of heroin. A balding man with a lisp, laundering money in laundry. Everyone knows the cops take their cut. Sirens bust prostitutes when the quotas fall. Nothing to write home about. But this afternoon, the sun has cut through the clouds. The scent of laundry blowing from every porch. Shirt tails flying like kites. I watch the girl take a load from her mother, never a syllable short, deaf to the noise around her, singing to her hands as they move through the air. She deftly folds the clothes, her quick fingers. The old women continue to play, laughing as the laundry spins, soap suds thudding against glass panes, the anonymous grit washed away. Children run through the streets, calling their games. Freeze tag changes to dice. Children eating Italian ice, stealing change, epistrophe, the return to the normal state. Children breaking bottles, skipping class, laundry stolen from neighbors, latch keys lost. Children running to the bodega for candy that costs more than they clutch. Hey, Mr. Garcia, who hands the children candy for a dime. It happens all the time. Children begging, my son held a yellow leaf up like a gift. I put a quarter in his fist. He turned and was gone. A small man began to appear in my dreams months before my son was born. I dreamed of children singing in the distance. I could hear their voices. A man reached out his palm, falling, falling. We all fall. I turned when I heard the train screeching. He'd fallen off the edge toward the track. My mother said this is only a dream. But what about those children with death stenciled on their chests, hung by white yarn? I remember the yarn meant death to me. I wouldn't wear the hat my mother knitted, wouldn't let it touch my ears, deaf to her pleas, her insistence. Winter arrived early that year. I trudged to school, deaf to the sound of falling snow. Snow is the sound of deaf children playing, their hands shouting across the snow. None of the deaf kids wear gloves, Kimi noticed. They lifted the snow with bare hands, deaf to the taunts. There was a music in their hands. I'd watch Sasha folding laundry for her mother, head nodding to a song. She could hear the vibrations of the machines. The deaf hear with their feet, her mother said, folding a blue scarf. The hands of the deaf were yellow notes, a leaf that floats, a leaf falls in its own time. When a deaf girl leaned into a deaf boy's neck, red leaves fell like valentines. My son sticks his finger into his ear. He is deaf to the sound of my voice. He runs through the wet leaves, falling into the pile we raked. I see him that night, years ago, falling to the floor before balancing with his arms outstretched. 
That night the rain fell hard against the glass. He climbed out of his mother's lap, forehead burning fever. Deafness could have her with a high fever, I read somewhere. I thought this as he caught himself, falling to the floor, those first few precarious steps toward his father, falling before he reached my hands. I gathered him up, the way that children gather a pile of sticks. The way that children gather a pile of sticks. The way that children gather a pile of sticks. When do we forget our bliss? How much falling do we need before we can forget the floor? Dolphy died of diabetes, a sweet falling that swelled his hands. Jazz's dirty laundry is junk. Charlie Parker's needle of notes that floats through a flute's arpeggios. Laundry of essential nonsense crawling through cigarette smoke. Leaf falls in its own time, in its own rhyme, in its own time, in its own rhyme, in its own time, in its own rhyme, in its own time, in its own rhyme. Yellow leaf that lands in my son's lap. He's leafing through the picture book I bought him on jazz. Falling, Neruda wrote. Falling, Neruda wrote. Falling, Neruda wrote. Sometimes we can't win except by falling.